Never happened like this yeah. before. Temple got a large portion of storm damage, but other nearby towns were not spared either. Six News anchor Adrian Alexander visited Morgan's Point Resort earlier, where trees and debris were spread all across the area. I'm here at Morgan's Point where that storm first struck yesterday afternoon. We've been driving through neighborhoods in this area, and we've been seeing a lot of homeowners cleaning up debris and assessing damage from the storm. Really? Oh, yeah. Is that good enough? One family has been out since this morning, cutting down broken tree branches and raking leaves from the ground. Once the hell started, we went inside for the best. Just started hearing glass break and pounding on the roof. Went outside, um, all of our back windows were all busted out, all the trees were down, our car that can't be replaced. They also took time to check in with neighbors to make sure they were okay and say in times like this is when everyone should come together. Me and the neighbors, we just got together. Um, I helped them move all their trees out and they're helping us move our trees out, um, taking it to Morgan's Point uh, collection spot for the debris. So just coming together as a community. After this, we'll go around, see if anyone needs to throw anything in the back of our trucks uh, so we can take it for them. While most of the people we spoke to today are still shaken up, they're grateful to be alive. They're hopeful that they'll be able to recover from the damage done to their properties. In Morgan's Point, Adriana Alexander, 6 News. Meanwhile, city officials said the cleanup process is going to take several months, not just days, due to that extreme volume of debris. Now back